Natoli Engineering produced this instructional video to teach tooling installation and press setup in a rotary tablet press. This video will also detail how to set up the press in a thorough step-by-step -step approach. In this chapter, we're going to cover shaped tooling installation. This tooling would be oval, capsule, square, any non-round shaped tooling that is a single tip variety. As before, make sure the upper and lower punch guides are clean by using a make punch sure no guide brush. Clean punch guide guides help clean. keep your lubrication clean and the press running cleaner. Next, take a die seat cleaner, put it in the die pocket and rotate it clockwise while applying constant downward pressure to clean the die pocket. Then remove the upper punch takeout plate. Here we have the die insertion ring and the die. First step is to take these and put the die into the die insertion ring. Then center the die over the empty die pocket and guide the die into place. Once the die is centered over the die pocket, use the upper punch to align it and verify that it's in place. Take the die driving rod, insert it into the upper guide and drive it the rest of the way in. Then with the die seated firmly into place, check your alignment once again with the upper punch. Rotate the upper punch slightly clockwise while applying pressure. If you hear a clicking sound, that means there is misalignment. You need to be certain the punch tip is entering the die bore smoothly. Minimal contact is acceptable. If there is misalignment, remove the die and reseat. Then put the die lock in and secure it into place. Snug the die lock screw by hand first and then use the torque wrench. <laughs> Next, check alignment one last time with the upper punch. The next step, install the lower punch. Lube the lower punch using one spray of the barrel lube and then the compression tooling grease. After you have the lower barrel lubed, get some grease on the acid brush, put a nice film over the head of the punch, make sure you hit the outside diameter of the head and the back angle, being careful not to get it on the punch barrel. Then install the lower punch. After the lower punch is installed, we have to install the punch retainer. The purpose of the punch retainer is to keep the punch from dropping during operation and help maintain consistent tablet weight. Now you tighten the punch retainer up until the punch will stay in its place under its own weight. If the punch retainer is too tight, it can damage the turret cams and tooling. After you have the punch retainer set, the MP500 has a lower takeout cam that needs to be put into place. Once it is installed, then recheck your punch heights to be certain your punches are not protruding above the die table. Next, check and be certain the anti-flight rail on the lower takeout cam does not allow for much movement. You don't want to pinch the head, but you also do not want the punch too high up out of the die. Next, reinstall the upper punch takeout plate. Next, install the upper punch. First lube the barrel and then lube the head and lower the shaped punch into place. Now that we have the upper punch installed, we're certain we have alignment because we've checked it twice and the upper punches are keyed. You can move on to the next station. Today we showed you how to install tooling one station at a time. Generally when you install tooling, you install all your dies, torque them down, all your lower punches, and then all your upper punches. Contact Natoli Engineering in the U.S. at 636-926-8900 or email np500techsupport at natoli.com.